Hi, I'm Steve. Uh, I'm part of the buying team at Ellis Brigham and I've been involved with Ski Boots here for over 20 years. So today I wanted to show you some of the new parts of our Ski Boot range. So I'm not going to try and go into everything. I just want to pull out some new boots, some new technology, show you a few things that you might not have seen before. So I'm going to start with the Atomic Hawks Prime XTDs. So there's men's and women's versions of this. Ultra XTD is a walk mode enabled backcountry boot. So it's lightweight, but it's got all the performance of an Alpine boot. Plus you've got the rocker on the sole and the compatibility with all sorts of different bindings. Ultra was quite a narrow fit, so it didn't work for everyone. Prime's the medium fit from Atomic. This will fit a lot more feet, but it's got all the same features of Ultra. Um, this is gonna be super, super popular. Closely related to that is a new liner. Now liners aren't necessarily the most exciting thing to talk about because you mold them and they fit and hopefully they feel good. Mimic from Atomics coming in their top boots. This is something that's almost between, um, when people upgrade a liner, they maybe go for a foam liner, an injection liner, something that's a lot more expensive. But these, this is somewhere between a standard heat moldable liner and a fully customizable liner. And what it is, is this back part of the boot can be molded very precisely to the foot. And it's a bit firmer than you'd expect in a normal liner, but it takes on a much better shape. So what that's giving you is a more even pressure uh, and it's giving you a better hold. So you're getting an increase in performance and an increase in comfort. So not the most exciting thing, but a big thing actually. And I think a lot of brands are gonna be looking at that and thinking we need to copy something like this. So Mimic liners, really interesting. Moving on from there, it's not a new boot, but it's a boot that's getting a lot of attention. And we've expanded our range. And these are the Nordica Pro machines, men's and women's. Um, women's slimmer fitting boots are probably the sort of the biggest category. So we've now got a flex in everything from Pro Machine, 85, 95, 105 on the women's side. Um, and what the Pro Machine's doing, it's quite a light boot but it doesn't lose any performance compared to some of the very top boots. But you're getting a very nice, close anatomical fit without any pinch points. So if you've got a sort of slimmer foot, take a look at Pro Machines, these are brilliant. The brand that's done a big update for this year is Fisher. So we've got a whole new ranges of boots. Uh, we're focusing on RC for the Curve 1s and RC 1s. RC 1s a little bit wider. RC 4 Curves, the ones a little bit slimmer. This is a sort of a medium to slightly wider fit. Big things about the Fisher is fully customizable. Put you on a, uh, we heat the shell, put you on a vacuum machine, which basically molds the whole boot around your foot. Um, these are going to be a really popular boot again this year. And it's interesting that they've, I should point out, everything's gone into grip walk on these. So grip walk's a little bit more rocker, a little bit more comfort, a little bit more safety when you're walking in it. Moving on from there, something you may not be expecting to have seen in shops. Rear entry boot from Nordica. So it's called the HF, hands-free. Cheers open it up and you get 40 degrees of movement to step straight in. No hands needed. Pop it on your foot. Clip it up with either your pole or your other boot. You don't even need to bend down. Away you go. It's nice and light. It's actually a pretty good fit as well. Um, and yeah, you might have thought that rear entry boots were finished. Not at all. So these are great for customers that maybe have ankle issues. They can't bend the foot properly to get it into a ski boot. Or someone that just wants maximum comfort. So if you struggle to get into corporate boots, take a look at this. Um, it isn't just some sort of novelty rental replacement. This is a 110 flex boot, so it's good performance and maximum easy use. New to us this year, K2 boots back in. What you get with K2 is a really light shell. Grip walk on it, but losing none of the performance and ultra long liners as well. So you can mold these and take a really good shape. Um, good, good reception 
from staff and customers to these so far. Um, and then the last thing I just want to pull out is a new brand again to us, and that's Roxa. We've got some men's and some women's versions. Um, often overlooked, but actually it's an Italian brand coming out the same place as all the other big boots. They're making a name for themselves right now, and you get a lot on this boot. It's very light, very anatomical, pre-punched. It's a PU plus shell with a, a grill mid as well. So super light, but very high performance. And then you've got an intuition liner in there as well, which keeps the weight down, but keeps the customizable options right up there. It's probably one of the best liners on the shelf. So might not know them, but don't overlook them. That's obviously not every boot that we stock or every brand, um, but it's just pulling out a few highlights. What you need to do is come into one of the shops, book some time to spend with a boot fitter, and we'll go through all your options. We'll get you the best fit for you. Um, so yeah, we hope to see you soon.